This is a medieval two-storey half-timber house with workshop downstairs made in vanilla and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build it. To make the workshop house you'll need the following. I've only included the most basic blocks for internal decoration. We'll talk about that towards the end. Don't forget a waste block. I like dirt. And this is the layout of the ground floor. It's not as complicated as it looks. So let's get started. Now to make the timber framing for this house, you're going to need a dark wood. I would recommend dark oak or spruce. Personally, I'm using dark oak because that's what I like best, but you can swap spruce in if that's what you'd prefer. So we're going to start at the front right hand side of the house. And on this corner, place three dark oak blocks. Leave a gap of one and place three more. Leave a gap of three and place another three. Leave another gap of three and place three more for the front left corner. Come round to the side, leave a gap of two and place three blocks. Leave a gap of one and place three more. Leave a gap of three and place the back left corner. Now we're going to come round to the front again, to this right corner. We're going to come round to the side, leave a gap of four. One, two, three and four and then place three logs. Leave a gap of three and place three more logs on the corner. Come round to the back, leave a gap of three and a column of three logs. Back round to the front, this column here we're coming round to the side. We're going to leave a gap of four, one, two, three and four. Column of three logs. We're going to leave a gap of three, one, two, three and a column of three logs. That's all our supports for the ground floor. Now go round and strip all the logs. Now this house is jettied but only at the front and jettying means it sticks out beyond the floor below it. So you can see that here with the basic two-storey house. So to achieve this grab spruce stairs and we're going to place them at the front on these four columns. At the top upside down. Now that that's done, come to one of the end stairs, doesn't matter which one, place a waste block on it and one beyond, get rid of the first one and run dark oak logs right the way along the front of the house above those upside down stairs. Get rid of the waste block at the end. Come to the back and on top of one of the corner columns, waste block, one next to it, get rid of the first one and dark oak logs right the way along the back on top of your columns. Get rid of the waste block. Now at the ends join them up with a row of dark oak logs. Same on the other side. And now coming to the inside you can see that these four columns form a row. We're going to join those up with logs. And in the front part, where we have these columns that are now sticking into the room on their own, we're going to run dark oak logs right the way across those and join them up to the row in the middle. That's the framework for the upper floor. So again, strip all those logs. Now that that's done, it's time to fill in the walls on the lower floor. I'm going to use wattle and daub. For that purpose, I have snow blocks, white wool, and white concrete powder. If you're used to texturing feel free to chop and change those three as you like. If you're not used to texturing use white wool first and then we'll come through and texture later. So at the front of the building we're going to come to this left hand section which is a three by three space and we're going to run wattle and door blocks just along the bottom row. Come to the side we're going to do the same here and here. And now top all of those with bottom half spruce slabs. Now come round to this side and we're going to completely fill in this 3x3 three three space at the end. Now if you want to texture the walls, and this is a general rule, knock out a few random blocks, try not to make a pattern, and replace them with the other blocks that you have. And you can just do that sort of thing for every panel. 
Now come around to the back, we have this quite large panel here. A row of wattle and door blocks along the bottom. One next to this right hand pillar. Leave a gap of two and fill in the other two and then a row right the way along the top. And put in some fences for windows. Come to this next one, we're going to leave a gap of one and we're going to fill in two by two here and then three along the top. Come around to the side and we're going to fill this end panel in completely. And this one, a row of wattle and door blocks. Then grab your fences to match your windows and just fill the rest of the space. There we go. Now come to the inside, to this little space which is our workman's space. This 3x3 three three panel we're going to fill with 8 blocks and fence in the middle. And now in this space it's 3 on the left, 3 on the right, 1 at the top, that makes a doorway. And fill in this space here completely with wattle and door blocks. Now that that's done we're going to work on the back room next. So knock out the whole floor. Place a wood block or a wood slab in the doorways. And you can either do the floor in here with rushes, which is basically hay bales, or you could use a wood to match your doorways. I like to use slabs because they go further. And with this area here, just fill it in with either your rushes or your slabs. Now that that's done, we're going to put a door in each doorway. So we're going to recess them so that they're like that. So in this work area, the hinge goes to the right. And if we come through to the back door, the hinge goes next to our dark oak column. Pop some torches in. At the front here, we're going to place a top half spruce slab right in the middle of the doorway another one here. Next come to this space, this is our stairway, we're going to place one, two, three and four spruce stairs. Now we have to form the ceiling of this floor which will make the floor of the room above. So I've got dark oak stairs and I'm going to run them upside down for a ceiling. And we're going to do that in both sections. So it gives the illusion of having ceiling beams. And now come in here and we're going to do the same thing. And one there. And just to finish this area off, place some torches around. Now in my medieval village in my hardcore castle world, I have used this little space for my mason and my blacksmith, but you could use it for whichever craftsman you wanted. You can make this look how you like. Just make it a craft that needs an outdoor area, so leatherworking, woodworking, stone carving maybe, whatever takes your fancy. But the other thing you can do is turn all this into path blocks, which just makes it free from spawning. And I'm just going to go around and get rid of my wool block markers. That's the structure of the lower floor done. We're going to work on the structure of the top floor next. So come up the stairs and we may as well start at the front right hand corner again. We're going to put three logs. Come over to the front left corner, three logs. Come round to the side, we're going to put three on top of this three, leave a gap, another three, come down to the corner and three more. Come round to this side again, we're going to place three above this one and three above the corner and come to the back, leave a gap of three and three more. Now on the inside we're going to place three on top of this junction here. We're going to turn sideways, we're going to leave a gap of two and place another three. 
and that's our support columns for the next floor. Now that that's done, place a waste block on the column at the front and place one in front of it, not to the side. Get rid of it and we're going to run dark oak logs right the way across the side this time. Get rid of the waste block at the front, do the same on the other side. So dark oak logs right the way along the side. Now join them up at the front and back. And on the inside here we're going to run one along directly above this one. Only this one is going to go right the way to the back. And we're going to run another one above this log. So from here and right the way to the other side. And now strip all of those. Now that that's done, we're going to start filling in wattle and daub panels. We'll start with the easiest one first, come around to the side, and this front panel here gets one row of blocks. And now that that's done, run bottom half spruce slabs along the top. The next one we're going to fill in with eight, and a fence post window in the middle. Come round the back. This one here gets filled in completely. And this one gets filled the same as the one below. So a row along the bottom, one at the right hand end, a gap of two, two more, and a row along the top. Come round to the side, fill in this panel completely. Fill in this next small panel completely and make a window in the middle of this panel. Come round to the front. Now we're going to put three rows of two. We're going to make a window here and a column of three. Another window and fill in all the rest. And don't forget fence posts for windows. Now come to the inside and these two panels that back onto the stairwell fill in completely. That's our wattle and daub walls done. Now just come through and texture as you see fit. Now for gable ends. These are just your standard Minecraft gable ends. Come to one side, doesn't matter which, leave a gap at the end and run wattle and door blocks right the way along. Leave a gap at the other end. Now come back and do the same and just keep repeating that, leaving a gap at each end until your gable end comes to a point. Now come through and texture it up. Now do the same sort of thing over at the other gable end. Now before we put the roof on, it's a good idea to put some torches inside just to keep it clear of squatters and we're going to place a door in the doorway and an upside down spruce stair above it. So now for the roof. I'm using spruce stairs. You could use any other type of wood that you wanted. It's the same regardless of how you do it. So front or back doesn't matter. Run spruce stairs right way up along the upper dark oak support beam. Stick it out one at the end and put one upside down behind. And now do another row and just keep doing that till you get to the top. And now repeat this on the other side of the roof. Now that that's done, fill the gap at the top with an upside down stair and top the whole thing with bottom half slabs right the way along. Now we're going to do a little bit of work on the inside. Here in the stairwell, we're going to place upside down dark oak stairs like we did on the lower floor to make an illusion of roof beams. And we're going to do the same thing just in this little gap. The rest of the room we're leaving open, but this could be a handy little storage room. You could easily put some chests or barrels up here and you could run a ladder up this support 
so that there'd be easy access to it. This is spawnable, so make sure that you pop in torches and either put some on these beams too or spawn proof them with carpet or with pressure plates. Now let's do a little bit of detailing on the outside and then we'll be done. So at the front here, in front of these lower columns, we're going to put two dark oak fence on each column and then we're going to put dark oak fence running down from the top just under the eaves to just above this upside down stair and we're going to place those every second block. Now you can either leave it like that but if you don't like the way the fences sit just put a spruce trap door under each. That's the front done. Let's come round to the side. We're going to run dark oak fences right the way up to the eaves here. And we're going to run dark oak fences along this support. And we're going to go right the way up to the roof line. That's that side done. Come round to the back. Dark oak fence at the corner here right the way up to the eaves. Leave a gap and run another row here. A gap and a third and a gap and a fourth. Now leave these where the windows are and run another row at the corner. That's the back. Come around to our last side and from the back here we're going to run it right the way up to the eaves. We're going to do one every second right the way up to the roof line. And when we get to this one, we're going to stop. So that's that side finished. Now all that's left is to furnish it. It's up to you how you want to do that. Personally, I'd turn this into some sort of workshop and maybe make under the stairs some form of storage, but you could put benches and stools in here and boxes and crates and up here would be the living quarters. This craftsman might be well enough off that he and his family have one bed between all of them. Um, maybe you want to put in a table and some stools or benches, definitely some storage boxes. Whatever you do keep it simple, keep it minimal. If you don't have Minecraft villages in your village, you might want to put a little cooking area out the back here. If you do have villages, don't put down an open fire. They will kill themselves within minutes. And there we have it. Our two-story craftsman's house with workshop. Nice and simple. A good addition to any Minecraft medieval village.